Well, you have starting collectors bullshit and then Apollo Crews. I don't care. Team Cup so one what tonight. My plan went to fruition. The room doesn't exist anymore. Hey, will God tell me? Mark is now in the custody of Ryder. Ryder. I, I don't even know what the fuck. Ryder lost his belt. You know what? Ryder lost his belt. That is true. I am so glad I picked that audio file. <laughs> this is the most creepy intro we have in Sardine Collectors, like 1 in 4. <laughs> Give him a break, dude. He's a pain when he has all the bones. Including two losses to SF. But, you know. Some light, just undefeated against Truth and Consequences. <laughs> I love that tag name, that's gonna give me every time. I think Consequences is a pretty fucking good tag team name. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Let's go, Apollo Cruz. I can't wait. This is the best arena for the match, too. Seriously. Two so big, sweaty black Apollo men. Apollo Cruz coming in. Oh, that goes hard. That goes hard. <laughs> that goes so hard. That's, That's a good unironically angle. good model too. Wow. <laughs> like most of the models look like shit. This one kind of looks cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looks like shit. I said oh. most of the models. I mean, I'll say all of them. Okay, name one that looks like shit. Say it. Ronda Rousey. Shit. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> How about for the men's roster though? Name a shit model. Otis. Oh, come on. Otis is good. You can't say that. Bro, it's like Otis. 15 foot tall. And? That's unfair. Hey, man, I believe you. You can do those Ringo. Okay, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them shark teeth. <laughs> that that, that taco is hard, actually. Real. <laughs> Maybe the shark should have been in, uh, I'm sorry, Apollo Crews. Should have been in the Elimination Chamber instead of Shinsuke. Yeah, Shinsuke wouldn't have, yeah. Yeah, Apollo Crews would have won that match. Oh my gosh, Sardine Collector! <laughs> Immediately. Just because it's in your stadium, dude. Things just because the Guardian of the Ice Wall, he can just start shit-talking immediately. Yeah, you're taking out a little shark, come on. Understand who you're going against. <laughs> Throwing him back into the ocean where he belongs. <laughs> Ooh, god damn, Penguin got moves. Oh um, god. I can't believe we're actually at the level of, like, fucking brain rot that we're actually getting hyped over a penguin fighting a shark. At one baby in the fucking morning. To be fair, this shark goes fucking hard. With yeah, you're not messing up the shark in this match. My, my money's on this shark, with all due respect to what Sardine Plucker has done in this business. No due respect to Sardine Plucker, because Sardine Plucker sucks the fucking ass. I like how the shark actually hit him with a fin for the clothesline and of just running into him. I love how some of the contestants are just straight up animals. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part is how the shark just fucking floats there. I can't wait for like foot. I can't wait for SF to go to a zoo, look at the penguins, and go motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bitches. <laughs> yeah, this and th yeah, this has changed my perspective on penguins as a whole. I don't look at them the same as I used to. <laughs> fucking canceling it is giving me legitimate brain rot, man. It it's is. fucking insane. My biggest... The brain rot isn't even a joke anymore. No. Yeah, I bet some of you motherfuckers are gonna go to see a zebra and go, <laughs> I, literally fucking, I literally went to a fucking zoo a couple weeks ago, saw a zebra and left. I'm not even <laughs> fucking kidding. The brain rot is fucking serious. 
I just went to a fucking zoo with my family, just enjoy a nice day out, saw a zebra, it was like the first thing I saw, and just started fucking giggling. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a zebra, funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, Wild Strike is an animal. <laughs> Oh, now I'm going to start laughing at penguins and sharks. That zebra makes eye, eye contact with you and it's Jover. Dude, some of them afraid that, like, a helicopter- Maybe a helicopter is going to, like, like be above my house and sort of laughing my ass off. <laughs> I fucking grab a pencil to write with, it takes me when I look at it, then I go, <laughs> Randy Orton 02. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm afraid I'm going to start writing something down with a pencil, and I'm going to look at the pencil funny, it's just going to fucking RKO me. <laughs> oh, dude, music is already ruined ruined for me. Oh, my God. Every song in this game is ruined. Oh, God, you just did a fucking backflip. <laughs> you gotta get another one. <laughs> Fellas, y'all did not experience my shock when I heard doing your mom and reverb. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest brain rot moment was so when I saw a blue, um, a blue Lives Matter shirt, and the first thing I thought of was the Blue World Order. <laughs> we get a point. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, fucking God, dude. This is a worse investment ever. Unfortunately, the Blue World Order makes me think of my blue thing we had going on in CPA, which is oh, irrelevant yeah. now, thanks to the Blue World Order. Luna. That's okay. They carry down the we'll legacy, the if ball. anything. Yeah. Big baller brand. I like the more thing that we're carrying on the legacy of the East BW Blue World Order, but you know, that's it. I'm gonna, I feel like now I'm going to set the color blue on the wall and I'm just going to start laughing. Or green. We need that blue black to blame. I'm going to start, I'm going to see an actual wrestling match. Anytime I'm going to see an actual match and start laughing. <laughs> Oh my god, this is actually, like, fucking... Staying up multiple times a week until 2 in the morning watching this bullshit is ruining this man, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what did you do with your youth? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Shark. Let's Sir, go. what did you do with your youth? Um, I did a- I, I watched a lot of wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to start college, you know, it's like start talking to some friends and stuff, just asking what I did over the summer. Just have to sit there sweating, thinking about how I'm gonna explain this bullshit. I 